Hello guys, I'm Vero and in today's video I will open this box of mystery art supplies that Candy sent to me. Candy is an Aliexpress seller and she asked me if I was interested in reviewing some products from her shop so I said yes of course because her shop is full filled with amazing art supplies and um, I feel like Aliexpress is the stationery slash art supply paradise and you know guys that I always buy things from there so of course I trust there a hundred percent guys I didn't know what was in this box because she wanted it to be a surprise so um, I, I had no idea what was in it and yeah by the way this video is not sponsored by her is this she, she just sent me these things let's start with the unboxing oh and thank you so much Kenny for um, for all these things um, I really like like opening things I get really excited when it comes to art supplies well um, thank you so much Uh, she sent me three things, two sets of paper and one set of watercolor paint. And I was like, wait a second, this is watercolors by Kuretake? What? I, I, I genuinely didn't know that they made like real watercolors because I only knew that they made Gansai Tambi in watercolor format. I had no idea that they actually made watercolors so i was very very excited to try them out i was like freaking out like what I, I was so curious to to try them also the paper that she sent to me the pink box was extremely cute and the other paper also is very cute but they're both like very good quality i was very very shook because the price and the quantity that you get and the quality is very convenient so I was like, I think I'm gonna buy paper from AliExpress from now on, because, guys, I really like these papers. <laughs> I will make a video review on the paper from AliExpress in general later, because I feel like there's so much to say, and I want to concentrate more on the Kuretake set in this video. These sets of watercolor paints come in 14 colors with a fine liner and a water brush. And it's all very convenient because it's basically almost all you need. Um, plus the paints come attached in this weird mechanism, like the pants are shaped in a different way and they kind of get hooked to this base so they're like no way these are these are going to move and that makes this set very travel friendly because you can like push it around in your backpack um, and it, the paint like you're good <laughs> no, no disasters are going to happen and um, also the fine liner it's uh, waterproof so it's watercolor friendly too. <laughs> So I've already told you that this set comes in 14 colors, but I have a sort of bad news because there are only 14 colors in total and these are very beautiful and transparent as you're seeing, but that makes me confused regarding the reason why they included a white because the white is also transparent and I don't really know why it's there because it does nothing. They could have put another color in, so I'm just confused about that. By the way, the colors are very beautiful and they respect the standards of transparency that other brands have. I've compared them to other of my transparent paints and these might be even more transparent in them. And it's good because they do what they're supposed to do, so I'm happy about that. 
I made the swatches on the martini paper and look how beautiful the texture is. I also made some swatches on the other paper to try it out and I can definitely tell that the martini paper has less sizing because it's more absorbent. Even though it doesn't say anywhere that this paper is made out of cotton, it kind of feels like it is while you're using it, so I really really like it. I also tested a few other things about the paints, like the flow, the blending, and everything well so well, uh, almost to the point that it looked too, too good to be true. Um, but you know, there is something a bad side, kind of bad side. It might be sad depending on how you use watercolors. These paints have a nice staining capacity, which means that it's really difficult to correct mistakes. And if you want to do it, you must be really quick. I must say that this paper is also really uh, absorbent and that accentuates that, uh, because on the other paper they lift more. But you know, this is something to take into consideration. Also, there is also a thing that, it's, that bothers me a little bit, the fact that there are no information about the composition of the color, whether they're made of the pigments or dyes or the light fast information, there is nothing written on it. So the only thing that was written on the box is that is just water-based pigment. And I don't know what ears are referring to even. So I went to the official website and I found a description that says ink type natural water soluble pigments for brilliant and transparent colors acid free so does this mean that they are made with dye like what does water soluble pigment means it means dye right <laughs> and i already uh, set up a light fast test for these paints and it's on the roof of my house at the moment and i will show you the results in a month or something like that so now I just want to show how they perform and I was also really curious to know how they, how well they do uh, and my style and the way I use watercolors. So I decided to make like a proper illustration just like right away and uh, as usual I make my sketch on my iPad 6 and then I print it and I transfer it on watercolor paper and that makes the process much easier for me. Uh, if you want to know how I use my iPad I made a video and you can watch it, I link it everywhere. After I transferred everything I put tape around the paper so it doesn't warp and I started to paint and I overall really enjoyed them. I didn't find any flaws apart from the fact that they don't lift so I was uh, since I knew that, I was very conscious and I was really careful with that. I put masking fluid um, on the parts that I wanted to be white because I knew that I couldn't lift the color. I just prepared everything just in case. Um, and I feel like they were very pleasing uh, to use. I didn't use the water brush because um, it, it is kind of a bigger painting and I the water brush is pretty small and I overall like to use a lot of different brushes while I paint so yeah <laughs> uh, I also use the fine liner to do the outline before so you can see how much uh, how transparent these watercolors are and um, they really are like I had no problems and the fine liner did as much at all and I was really really happy about that overall I yeah I really like to work with this I was careful I did all uh, I should have done and I love the fact that it's so easy to layer them you can make so many layers the paper also resisted the layering it didn't get damaged but the fact that you can work very slow because of the layers, I really like that aspect of these watercolors. They blend easy, um, they flow well, uh, they mix also well. These colors are not a huge range, but they're enough for you to mix uh, a lot of colors. So, uh, you know, I'm a big mixing person. I like to mix my colors a lot and yeah, I did it a lot for this illustration and I was totally happy for the results. I, I had no problems whatsoever. So yeah, if you're looking for like a travel set and if you like layering and those kind of things, 
I definitely recommend for you these watercolors. You will find all the links to the shop of candy in the description and also to these uh, watercolors and uh, all the other products, the paper uh, too, in the description. And I will make a comparison between these and the Kuretake and Saitambi. I feel like it's quite clear why they are different and in which part they are different, so... <laughs> but I will make it anyway to really show you, put to the test everything. And I definitely like this way more because the Kuretake and Saitambi lift so easily and it's impossible to make this kind of illustration with them, so I definitely, for the way I use paint, like these much more. So, yeah, I'll leave you to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was really fun to me. And if you have any questions, uh, please ask me everything. Uh, I will reply. Uh, or I'll try, if I know the answer, I will reply. Anyway, bye bye.